Yeah, do you, like when we mam marched us up to the doctors the Tuesday after we was all spark out behind the tropical trip and they all thought we'd either been boozing or smoking or taking something we shunted on or, though not bloody likely they said, that we was all actually seriously ill when really we just never kipped at Nay's birthday do the night before and then that doctor reckoning it was the red sauce we have on his burgers that just gets left in the sun roasted away for weeks at a time a cesspit for bacteria and that that had got us all ill so they made all our lads stay out of school to flush out whatever met believe bug we'd got in our sense this time and then what about uh, Pico talking out his arse again about some bird he pulled on his holidays last year and then calling us out for being geeky little virgin boys still so our lot getting him in the outside seat of the ski jump ride and then rocking it backwards and forwards, sliding up and down that seat as we went round and round, and as it whipped round that corner and, uh, and piled up and over the ski jump, we all went full welly at him to almost try and crack a rib or two or ten of his. Because you do. And then him complaining about it, whinging his face off for up to a fortnight after, all these bruises still all up his sides. And us lot saying to him, that'll teach you for vivid. And then buying them Robin Hood plastic bows and arrows with the suction cup points at the charity shop tent and firing them the, the carriages on the rides or the carts and burger vans leaving at the end of the day. Calling odds on how far they'd take them before the suction failed and they fell in the nettles by the caravan gate or into the nest of track and the runaway train and out of our reach because we'd not licked the arrows enough or too much. <laughs> and then winning a goldfish on the hooker duck stall and then wondering what to do now here he would take it on and wait a few days for it to die in his tank and poison the rest of your fish <laughs> <laughs> or chuck it in the pond for the errands to snap and they'd have it as well or forcing Christopher Taylor to lose his bet about the coconut shy and saying to him you best get eating that fish of your youth or you best get yourself over there and asking how that Laura Fletcher. And then him, wolfing down that fish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs>